Okay. Now I want to welcome everybody. This is Kathleen Gage, and it is with my distinct pleasure that I invite Lana from Montana. Lana Nelson, who resides in Montana with her husband, Dr. Bruce, and uh, just a, a whole amazing life that she's created for herself there. Uh, but it wasn't always that way. Actually, um, Lana at one point dealt with chronic pain, dealt with a lot of uh, health issues that took her on a quest to actually learn how to heal herself. And out of that, she actually created a protocol called the Food Code. And again, I would invite everybody giving you this recording, but we need to make sure that everybody uh, is muted other than Lana and myself. And um, I'm actually going to share my screen here and let me make sure, oops, we don't want to share that. We don't want to share that. Let's share this. Okay, and I'm going to put it on a, a slideshow. And what we're going to be talking about is uh, intuitive eating for everybody, insights into your perfect food choices, the food code. And Lana, I'm going to let you go one at a time and talk about these, just that what we're going to talk about, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. And um, the person who is on the video camera, if you could please uh, take your video camera off, stop video, I've stopped it. And anybody who's unmuted, please mute yourself so we have a real clean recording. Okay, so uh, Lana, if you wanna go ahead and then I'll put the, uh, each point up. Okay, discover an intuitive approach so you can, that you can use to quickly determine which foods your body requires to feel better fast. This really okay. is an approach that I'm going to teach you or show you today, remove the confusion about what to eat so your healthy eating really becomes easy. Okay, and again, we have a few people that are not muted. I'm gonna go ahead and mute. I'm gonna go ahead and mute, and I'm going to invite everybody, please mute yourself so that uh, we have a real clean recording. It looks like we've got everybody. Okay, great. Uh, next. Thank you, thank you. Uh, quickly determine what foods your body requires for your best health, maximum energy, fitness, and weight. And this is quick. It really is. And always know what to eat, whether cooking at home or standing in front of a buffet, which we do quite often, right? And this one insight can literally turn your health around. Decide awesome. 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 And, you know, I want to share a few personal stories about Lana and what, what has been really amazing about not only uh, knowing her as a, a friend, but also as an expert in um, intuitive eating. Um, I, I'll start with Delaney, our rescue dog. Uh, Lana was very instrumental. We had a, a dog that showed up at our property, and Delaney what, had been a puppy mill breeder dog, and she was basically thrown away. She had a lot of health issues. And we really thought we were going to have to let her go and, and send her over the Rainbow Bridge. But Lana, actually, while she was in Montana, and I'm in Oregon, while she was there, she did some remote healing with Delaney and was able to intuitively know some of the issues that were going on with Delaney. And Delaney actually was with us for about four years. Uh, another experience that I had was personal stuff around my own eating that Lana has helped me with. And also my sister who had uh, diverticulitis and had a very severe attack. And Lana worked with my sister one-on-one -on -one and helped her with her uh, eating approach through very intuitive uh, foods that, the, the foods that intuitively Lana was able to recommend for my sister. Now, Lana also has an approach that is, uh, it has to do with muscle testing and we'll talk a little about that. But Lana, um, would love for you to share more about how you got involved in this whole approach to um, intuitive foods, intuitive eating, things of that nature. Okay. Uh, many years ago, I was involved in an automobile accident. And after that accident, I suffered for 10 years with chronic pain. I mean, from the bottoms of my feet to the tops of my head and uh, many, many years. And I mentioned that story a little bit in my book, but
problems you had because I suffered for 10 years with extreme chronic uh, pain and I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, which of course is incurable and said incurable at that time. And so I said, to, I did start seeing a chiropractor and I received some help with that. And I said to a friend of mine, I really should marry a chiropractor. I'm seeing one three times a week, ha 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 ha, you know, and we giggled about it. Well, what the universe put out, uh, sometimes I truly believe you bring back. And I met my husband, Dr. Bruce Nelson on a blind date. Long story short, for five years, people had been trying to get us together. And he just happened to, to, um, to specialize in that time, which was not even really known, uh, it was uh, fibromyalgia. So specialty in what I was having chronic pain with. And so with and all this time that I was going through this, I was experimenting with foods. Um, I was doing green juice long before, I didn't even have my own juicer. I borrowed a juicer from a friend and she showed me how to use it. That was really, really weird back then. Okay, I'm not kidding you. Drinking, green, drinking something that you've juiced, ground up, squeezed into a glass. Now it's common day. You buy it at the grocery store. Oh, no, no, no. Back then you were a health food nut and really a nut nut. Uh, one time, and I mentioned it in my book, um, an experience I had the first time I drank an entire glass of juiced cabbage, ju juiced cabbage, like a whole head of juiced cabbage, Ooh. just the juice, and chewed up a couple of cloves of fresh garlic, knocked it back all in one swig practically. You don't ever want to do that. It's nasty. Um, and when it comes back up, you'll be surprised. So with that... <laughs> And I'm sure people don't want to be around you when you've drank that much cabbage and garlic. That's funny. No, no, no. But it's kind of crazy. And so I tried using supplements and I tried using foods and there wasn't the internet back then. This was uh, 30 years ago. Um, at, and so anyway, meeting my husband, Dr. Bruce, working with him two weeks after we met on this blind date. Um, I said, what are you doing? He said, what are you doing? You know, that sort of a thing. And then I told him about my, the fibromyalgia pain. And he goes, I can help you with that. And I'm thinking, yeah, I've, I've been looking for 10 years. Well, he actually did. And within two weeks of using his method, I was completely out of pain. And fast forward about a year, we got married. We joined two families. He had six kids. I had six kids. Uh, he adopted all my kids uh, it, in the, eventually, and it went on national. It went on the national news, Associated Press, and we were dubbed the Brady Bunch times two. Okay, wow. so and it has been. We just celebrated our 25th anniversary. It has been 25 years for me, pain-free and a healed heart with a wonderful, fabulous man and uh, our 12 kids who have now all married and all have kids practically. But anyway, so during that period of time, I started working uh, with Bruce in his office and with his program that he was uh, using to help people that had chronic pain issues. And they would come from literally all over the world to Montana, little old Montana to our office. I said, you know, with the success I've had with using food, supplements, and so forth, I, I and using his method, which that to test their exact foods, the foods that they needed to get healthy and well to go along with the program that he was using. And so that has morphed in to my book, The Food Codes. I'll just kind of boom, 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 right across the this, this stage here. With, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I, I need to say something about your book. It's like I've already lost a few copies to loaning them to people. Oh, yes, like, that oh, happens. I'm not giving this up. They I am go not out. giving this up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, the, the whole process of why you decided to write a book and um, how long it took you to write the book, uh, some of the things that occurred during the writing of the book, because you really document your whole process around muscle testing, you share stories, um, and you really 
basically have given up on a solution for their health. I know oh, with yes. my sister, she was in, in, in excruciating pain and you really helped her to see the foods that she consumed that really her for that. I would be happy to. You know, in this day and age, we have we also have information overload. So the next best food that comes up on the internet, everybody's grabbing it and they're all eating it. They're consuming it and so forth. And maybe that's the best thing for you. Maybe it's not the best food for, thing for you. So what I did with your dear sister was I tested for her and her, the chronic problem that she was having, what are the best foods for you now? So I have a wonderful comprehensive list of the general foods, literally, that you would eat. And so using a method of muscle testing to test what her best foods were, then I comprised a list of what, what foods would help her body heal right now. Mm -hmm. and, and she said it was very interesting because her inner, her, 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 she already knew some of these things, yet was listening to other people. Okay, so that is what happens when, what I call, you start listening to your subconscious mind or your inner knower. It's already been trying to tell you most of the time. But, um, yes. So well, Give an example of, of how, because, you know, what, what's drawn people to this call, a number of things. One is they, they obviously want to know what's going on with the latest and greatest in diet fads, which this is not a diet fad. This is no. truly a protocol, a way of eating. And I know that when you did my chart and you did Karen's chart, there were things that were okay for her to eat and things like bananas were not okay for me to eat at that time. Now, that's something you said that, you know, our bodies actually can change and yes. what's okay today in six months may not be a good food for us to, to eat. So address that and then let's talk about how people can actually tune into their own subconscious. Okay. All righty. Well, uh, your body goes through different stages and needing different nutrients, if you will. Food has nutrients. Food is made of energy. Your body is made of energy. So nutrients interface with your body to actually become your body. So you not eating bananas at this point in time, six months from now, your body might say, please feed me bananas. And then, and that, you know, and you're doing a new food code uh, program at that time will help you know that. But um, seasonally, even if you live in a climate that is, you know, pretty much uh, the same all year round, your body goes through different changes uh, as far as what your stressors in life, uh, your family, your, you know, your uh, anything, just anything, whatever is changing in your life can be, can create a stress. And so um, what you're doing can, or what you're not doing can make an effect or have an effect on what foods seasonally. Does that make sense? It does. And I want to share a comment from, from Georgiana. She wrote in and she says, I just got it last week, the book. Uh, and I have read the book and already did the muscle testing on food and used muscle testing to know when I should eat, uh, which led me to doing a fast. Love, love, love it. And I wish yeah. you could see this comment because it's all <laughs> caps. Uh, the, the love, love, love it. And I, I just want to let Georgiana know that we have a surprise for you because you got the book and, and we're going to let everybody know later where you can get the book. And we've got some really nice surprises for you that will help you with your intuitive eating. Um, Thank you, Georgiana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you've got a fan here. Well, you've got a lot of fans in Eugene. Um, how, how can people really re release the confusion around eating because as you know i've gone plant-based i'm 100 percent plant-based i do no animal products at all and you're you're not one who says you you can't eat animal products but if that's what you're doing let's look at the foods that fit with a plant-based eating protocol or it could be a keto diet it could be whatever how okay. do people know what diets really are the best for them and how do they get through all that confusion well, how you do that is ask your inner knower, your subconscious mind. And muscle testing is a really super simple thing to learn eventually with practice. 
Uh, some people pick it up immediately and some people take a little bit more practice. But what it is, is connecting with your conscious mind through a, a muscle and through, uh, uh, through muscles of your, of your body. It could be, let's say, your arm. And you could say, please give me a yes answer. And your muscle will remain strong to something that is true. Uh, and something that is negative or false, your muscle will not remain strong. So give me a no answer, and your here, and your muscle will go will go um, weak. So asking yes or no questions of the subconscious, your mind, your beautiful inner knower that knows everything. It knows exactly what you should eat in what proportion at what time. It knows exactly if you should be doing a fast or eating or drinking green juice or and how much and what to for instance green juice possibly you need to only use the greens that your body wants right now not just this wide range of oh my gosh everybody should eat kale or oh no 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 you shouldn't you should do this or you should do that your body knows and so using the muscle testing and it's a very easy easy thing to pick up and do. Does that answer your question? You know, it does. And I'd, I'd love you to give an, uh, an actual demonstration and we'll use me as the demonstrator. Okay. I'll put my arm up and um, let's, let's go through uh, a few foods. And then Andrea has a great question that I'm going to um, share with you in just a moment. Perfect. But let's, let's okay. look at, um, we'll take, um, well, you pick it. You, okay. you pick it. You don't even need to put your arm up. I can oh. use myself. This is very cool ah, too. This okay. is what I do with my clients every single day. And I, I use put my arms up. Okay. Well, <laughs> put your arms wherever no, no, you ahead. would like. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I can use my finger also. So almost like an arm and bring another finger over top of that finger. Let's say, give me a yes answer. Yes. Give me a no. Okay. That's a no. So I okay. can test for you. And basically I tune in with you via that all knowing inner knower. Okay. Um, via the subconscious of the universe. Some people call it the, you know, the master of all. Let me tune in with you right now. Okay. Am I tuning, mm -hmm. am I testing for myself, Lana? No. Okay. Am I testing for Kathleen? Yes. Okay. So let's say, for instance, right now, Kathleen, what, how are potatoes for you as a food? Let's say a white potato. And you can test, this is very cool too. You can test on a scale of one to 10, one being low or zero to 10, like being eat, don't eat it at all. It's really could create some reactions or a 10 being, wow, this is a super food for you right now. So this is about food's energy for you right now. So on a scale of zero to 10, let's test. Is food a zero, one, two, three, four, five? So it went down about five. So food is like in the so-so category for you. It's not really your good food. It's, I mean, uh, the potatoes. Uh, potatoes, thank you. Not really your best or your worst. So pick a food that you really like to eat. A food that I really like to eat. Let me go ahead and turn off this video. And we'll be turning the videos back on later, ladies and gentlemen. But for right Thanks. now, we're, we're working on a video um, or a recording. Um, I would say one food that I really, really like is I like chickpeas. Garbanzo beans. Chickpeas. And I've been doing a lot of legumes and all that. Okay. On a scale of zero to ten, how good are your chickpeas for you right now? A zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten. A full on ten for you right now. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. You can also okay. do this very quickly. You can test uh, is this the is this on is this a best food for me or is this a you know, in, in my worst category. And I teach you how to okay. do that. In the well, book. let's do processed sugar. Let's do donuts. Um, I used to eat crazy uh, and that's why I was so heavy. Uh, glazed donuts, the old fashioned glazed donuts. Do it, do a test okay. on that. So think of that old fashioned day, day, glazed donut that, and that's the particular one that you used to buy that you loved. Mm -hmm. buy okay. The box. Yes. Uh, this <laughs> is a zero. Is it a one? No. Is this a zero right now for you? It's, it's not. But here's a key, okay? People will ask me, 
What are the good foods and what are the bad foods? Here is the key. Are there really bad foods? So a real food, like you're talking whole foods, okay? Okay. You're okay. talking real food. You're mentioning real foods, okay? A, a good, a food that's grown in the best way or a whole food. What's, first of all, you need to determine what's a whole food and what's not. An orange is a whole food. Orange juice is not. It's actually a processed food. I love that distinction because where I think a lot of people get really confused with, with eating protocols is you're, you're saying real foods. That I'm there saying are, a whole yeah. real so food. So you're not talking like Snicker bars and you're not talking like sodas and all that. You're talking about foods that are uh, like, well, real foods, you know, that's yes. not, not, not Garbage well, and bag. here's a difference too. Whole foods, it can be a single food, but let's say you want to make an omelet. You use a whole egg, not the white or the yolk. Use the whole egg. You chop up some, uh, some greens and you put in there a little bit of kale or something. You saute an onion and a little bit of this or that. So, and then what? You might put some zucchini in there um, and make an, uh, an omelet or a frittata, but you put in all foods that are whole and okay. that is a whole food meal Excellent. even though you've used parts of those foods does that make sense it does it does and um, Andrea has a really great question how often should you retest to see what foods are best for you and do you just ask your body how long you should eat this way for you are great Andrea great question. yes exactly and that's what I teach as well Testing now you can ask before you do a test. Uh, uh, you can before you do your food codes. Um, you might have uh, something in mind. I'm getting ready for a 10k. Can I? Is it appropriate for me to test for that right now? Okay. Yes. How many? How? How? What foods are best for me to get ready for this 10k? Or um, you could also test. I. You could test for whatever reason. I would like to decrease my weight you can ask is it appropriate that i look to weight loss right now okay because it may or may not be there are some you know there are people who are very very thin and should not be uh, releasing weight or people who are ill and should not be releasing weight at this time etc so the key is to ask the question of uh and you could ask Okay, well, everybody in January, believe me, you're going to see right off the bat, people are going to be ju doing juice fast and they're going to be doing, you know, some, some type of a diet. Is mm -hmm. there a specific mm -hmm. plan or diet for me to use at this time? Okay, and if, if it's yes, so test what foods for that. And then say, how long is this particular plan best for me? Okay. It could be three days, mm -hmm. it could be three months. You can, you can test, I'm getting ready to go on a trip and oh, I just need my energy back. What mm -hmm. foods are best for me to get on this, to get my energy back for next week? You can do That's that as well. Does that make sense? It does, and you, you had mentioned um, in the introduction about, uh, you would talk about when people go out to a buffet or a restaurant. Um, let's say that somebody is hypothetically sitting at the table and the menu comes, can they actually muscle test on a menu? I love it. I do this all the time. I'll give you an example. It was about a month ago. We have a new restaurant in town and I went, they serve sushi. I really like sushi. I went to that thinking I have heard rave reviews about their sushi. I went, I looked on their menu and I sit down, I use the menu and I test sometimes two things. What's the best thing for me, whether it's a two page menu or if it's like boom, 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 five or 10 pages as you see some menus. And I will flip through and say, is it this page? No, is it on this page? No, oh, it's mm. on this page over here. And you can test what it is, but I really wanted sushi. So I, I did that, I opened the menu and I tested the sushi. None of the sushi tested good for me that day. I looked wow. on the other side of the page and it had noodle dishes. And um, dang, what kind was the, well anyway, it had a noodle dish on there. And 
I, I'm not a real big noodle fan for the, for the most part. I'm wanting the sushi and my, my, you know, my tongue is going, go sushi now. So, but it <laughs> tested one of, the, one of the items. Well, I honored my inner knower and mm -hmm. I tested, I, I said, okay, bring me this noodle dish. And I also tested, this is, you can do two things. And how much will I enjoy it? Well, and so this noodle dish also tested really high, like nine or 10 on how much I'd, I would enjoy it. And it's like, oh, sometimes it's testing, you know, and I just, but anyhow, they brought it to me. Oh my goodness sakes. It was, it was pad thai. Okay. It was a pad mm. thai dish. Mm. It was so amazing. It's the best pad thai I have ever had in my life. I wanted to, I, I tested how, when my fullness, and I teach you with this in my book too, because we don't know when we're full and when we're, we're not, but back to the menu. I tested, I, I ate about half of it, reached my satiety level. I still wanted to lick the plate, but I took a little. I, can learn to test very discreetly uh, what menu, what, uh, let's say you're standing in front of a buffet. Okay. You can actually use your little tester and I'm, I'm just using my finger as, okay, is this section, is this section good for me? Okay. The mm, salads mm -hmm, are good. Mm -hmm. That lettuce, this, uh, oh, I'll have some grated carrots. Ooh, and I'll have this little, I don't know what it is. It's some kind of a, some kind of an addition and whatever. So you can test what exactly on a buffet bar as well as to what sure. you're needing at the time. And here is my last thing about testing. Sometimes you just want that chocolate bomb. Okay. Sometimes you want that gooey little warm chocolate that you put your fork into and it just drips the chocolate. Sometimes <laughs> you just want it. Okay. You know what? I say, do your best and bless the rest. Bless it first, but give mm. a give a thought of gratitude before you eat. And if you, you know, if you pray or, or give that gratitude, and you're kind of um, worried about doing anything like that in the restaurant, put in the car before you come in. Okay, that'll bless almost the preparers and um, bless those who prepared it for you to be the best thing for you. So, but do your best. And bless the rest. And if it's that chocolate bomb, you might be really surprised with gratitude towards something and then truly enjoying it and giving every bite a luscious, ah, wonderful thank you for this joy. And you'd be surprised at uh, how, that, how that works. Okay. That makes sense. And, you know, it, it makes perfect sense because it, um, when I go into restaurants, I actually do a prayer over my food and, and you have taught me the, the power of prayer over food. And it's about energy. It's about really, um, yes. putting good vibrations into, uh, into your food. And what, what now I know that you work one-on-one -on -one with people and, um, I've, I've actually sent several people to you because I believe so much in what you've done. You've worked not only on Karen, myself, my sister, uh, you've worked on Karen's sister, you've worked on our horses, you've worked on uh, our dogs. I mean, it, and it's so amazing because like with Delaney, this is what really made Karen a believer. Delaney couldn't walk when we first got her. She literally drug herself onto our property. We live in a remote community in, in Oregon. Yes. And it turns out that when we had her x-rayed, she had a dislocated hip that apparently in puppy mills, they don't get vet care. And this had healed in a dislocated position. So she really couldn't um, support herself. And while you're in Montana, and I'm literally sitting in my closet with Delaney <laughs> holding her, trying to keep her as calm as possible, because she was a petrified dog. And you said, there's something going on with her hips. And you yeah. just like started pinpointing exactly what was going on. And you gave some recommendations. You, you did your, your remote healing. Um, and food you recommendations for her. And you absolutely yeah. did. You absolutely did. And, you know, my greatest level of belief in what you do was when I saw what you did for my sister. Because I love my sister very much. And 
I, I said, you've got to give Lana a call. When, and and she did, and she applied everything. And she's a sushi lover too. And she I think did. there was something about sushi <laughs> that I don't know whether she could or couldn't have it. But she made some dramatic food changes, and she said, "I have never felt this good in my life." She goes, "I have more energy. The pain has subsided, and you know, the, it, she still had to get some medical attention." But here's the thing: a lot of times people will assume that you you create magic in their lives and they don't have to take any responsibility for their choices from there on out. What do you say to those people who they want a quick fix but they're not willing to make the necessary changes to continue the healing of their body? How do you address that? Well, it's what you would say to a runner. If you want to start running, and this is the same thing with a dieter, okay, so many people mm -hmm. jump into a diet and I'm going to do this in the next two weeks. And they starve themselves. They, you know, uh, they abuse themselves. There mm -hmm. is something called post-traumatic stress disorder with eating. Okay. Wow. So eating itself and the, the things we subject ourselves to with dieting can create so much. We become disconnected. So suggesting to, if you want to start a better eating, be gentle about it. Don't abuse, just first of all, boom. Okay, kick the dieting out of the window. Kick the urge to, you know, and here's the thing with dieting. Dieting is a, is, ah, what's the word I want to use here? Dieting is alluring, okay? Because it's the chance. It's exciting at first. It's like a new lover, okay? And then you found out that they never brush their teeth and they do this <laughs> and they don't do that and you don't get along, but it's really exciting at first, okay? Mm -hmm. But the same with the diet. There's a big allure and then it is, you don't eat it. You either don't like the food or you've got to count calories or you've got to count grams mm -hmm. or you've got to count you know, um, whatever it is, you're, you don't have to do any of that. You're, you are creating, recreating really what one of the, the major things my book is about is relationships. Our first relationship you'll read about is literally with food before we're even born. So you first have to renew a relationship with food and stop the abuse that most people that I've been, you know, I've been a food abuser in the past, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. overeating, under eating, not eating this or not eating, you know, just mm -hmm. so find the foods through your intuition. And some people just know, some people will see, feel, hear, know, smell, whatever, find the best foods for you. And then, and I teach you in the book as well, Learn when you're full for eating, okay? We, as a little child, we know how much food we want. You ever, you've seen, you've been tried to force feed a kid before and they will mm -hmm. eat a bite and it's like, yeah, I don't really like that. We've lost, a lot of us, the taste of what we really do like and what we don't. Get that back through intuitive eating. Learn when you're full and then stop. Or learn to eat just before you're a little a lot before you're full and huh. you, the joy of eating the joy of this relationship will will skyrocket so getting first of all the key step is to gently regain this friendship with with a friend that you literally have abused mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you have to gain your confidence back with this friend and then little by little you'll know what to eat you can test what to eat you'll know when to stop eating when you're full and you'll know when to eat when you're hungry it's not three three meals a day maybe it's four or five if you really have mm. a need mm -hmm. for food maybe it's once you know well, maybe you you're know, just so does that make sense kathleen it makes perfect sense and, and it leads into a question that comes from beth and um Beth asks, what causes food sensitivities and can the food codes help to resolve them? That's a super good question. Thank you so much. Many different things, okay? It could be something associated with the food itself. If this is a food like dairy, you're dairy sensitive or something, maybe it's something in the kind of dairy. 
um, it, that, and maybe it is, uh, maybe it's uh, a condition that you have in your body. You know, maybe you have an infection or something. Sometimes uh, food, mm. food that has a little bit of mold in it, um, uh, and some cheeses have mold and, you know, the, the not so good kind of molds and stuff, and some cheeses are wonderful for people, but some foods and sensitivities can be just the particular food that you've eaten at one point in time. For instance, I've worked on people, let's say they have a tomato intolerance or sensitivity, and they can't eat any tomatoes. A tomato that they ate at some point in time that created maybe, maybe an emotion at that period mm. of time, um, that emotion needs to be cleared, and then you don't have oh, a sensitivity to tomatoes anymore. So it gets into another aspect, but there are a lot of different things. It can be many varied uh, things that create uh, sensitivities or even allergies. And those things really can be gotten rid of. You don't have to be allergic can or the, sensitive your whole life. Can the food codes help with that? Yes, actually. Okay. Okay. Well, let me, let me um, ask a question about the first of the year, because a lot of people, they're going to start that diet. The number one goal, there, actually, there's two primary, uh, not goals, but what do we call them? Resolutions that yeah. people set first of the year. Quit smoking, weight loss. Okay. True. And, you know, so those are the, the two, two big ones. And um, as people prepare for the coming year and they, many people want to let go. And I love how you say releasing weight. They want to release it. They don't want to lose it because if they lose it, they're going to go search for it, but they're releasing it. So as they prepare for the coming year and over the holiday season, um, I, I just heard something that Christmas Eve is the number one holiday uh, the, right before Christmas when there's more heart attacks than any other time of the year. And I was yeah. shocked. And I would assume it has something to do with the foods, the stress, the financial pressures, et cetera, et cetera. Now, as people get through the holiday season and they're preparing for the new year, what can they do to prepare with, using the food codes, using muscle testing, using their intuition to prepare their environment to support uh, healthy weight release? Okay. Well, you can shop with your, no, with your inner knower, okay? You can shop with your muscle testing. So you can have those foods that are the best for you. You can use this for shopping, okay? You can go and let's say you have apples and let's say you have a certain kind of pasta. Uh, let's say, you know, whatever it is, you can go to the grocery store and use your testing to test what, what the best apple. I mean, there's probably five or six or 10 varieties of apples or from different places and stuff. You can actually test, oh, let me see, is this mm. apple good for me? Is this, are these the best apples for me? No, are these the best apples? Yes. And you may find, and here's the thing that people ask a lot as well. I only eat organic. I only It's going, what? You can also do it very discreetly that you don't have to show anybody. But they said, she said, what are you doing? And they told her exactly. And then they tested her groceries for her as she went around putting back, putting away most of her groceries, putting back and having a whole paradigm shift of, wow. So you can use this to do your shopping and to keep, and you can also use it with your family too. Okay with your partner, your spouse, your family, you can use. And then I also teach you how to cook for everybody, really, with keeping everyone in, in mind. It is in the book with lots right. of suggestions for that. And Excellent. different recipes, like I use a recipe template. I teach you how to, you can even craft your family recipe that you've used for a long time. And it's like, oh no, this doesn't, this is not,
and then use this liquid and you can choose. So does that make sense? It so does. to and be we able have to make questions. recipes. Okay, go we ahead. Have more questions, but before we do, I want to share with people uh, where they can actually get your book and what they're going to get because my internet is going in and out and mm. I would hate to I would hate to have the whole thing drop. So um, I want people to know that when they get the book, they go to Amazon, get the book there. Uh, you're going to get the food codes workbook and I'll let you talk about that in the printable shopping list. And all you need to do is go to the foodcodes.com forward slash book hyphen info. That's the foodcodes.com forward slash book hyphen info. And I'm going to leave that up so that you can address what's in the food codes workbook, what's in the printable shopping list, and then we'll go back to some of the questions. Well, the workbook is a 30 day, uh, a 30 day, uh, it looks like a journal. Okay. And so you can journal each day, how satisfied you were with food, how happy you were with it, what foods you ate and so forth, the foods on Um, I had one client, he was in his 90s, he actually never drank water, but most of his foods were high water content, ah. as well as a lot of soups and stews. So, um, in it, in, so I teach you some of those things, but the printable shopping list, I actually take mine, I put my foods in different categories, and it, it's mostly just a simple list, and then I'll, I'll take it to the grocery store with me, or I will just, and I'll also just put it on, so I put my best foods on the list, okay? Nice. And like down in the corner, I'll say, okay, no, 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 just stay away from these foods. And you'd be surprised at the foods that you really need to avoid is usually much smaller than your best foods. I mean, you can eat more than you ever have, have known, okay? Nice. And be nice. happier with yourself. Nice. But so the printable shopping list, you can actually just, you know, put to the side of your refrigerator and say, okay, I think I'll have this for dinner tonight and that in there and put some of this in there. And you can kind of craft your meals that way or recipes nice. or whatever. And you can actually do your food testing before you go to the grocery store. Other than, like you said, yeah. sometimes, you know, somebody might've sneezed right before you, you uh, <laughs> got there. And so it's the foodcodes.com forward slash book hyphen info. If you've already gotten the book, all you need to do is go to this page and input your order number and you'll get the bonuses. We, we definitely want to do that. But yeah. uh, I want to look at uh, the questions we have and let's go back to the chat. Okay. In regards to organic, this is another great question. In regards to organic versus conventional, how about the chemicals? I guess the testing takes that into account. You know what? You can test, does this have chemicals on it that are very bad for me? And maybe yes, maybe no. Um, but I see what you mean about chemicals, but at test the foods. You can do a lot of different testing with chemicals. And often the organic will test good. They are having, you know, a few years ago when organic came out, it was the worst looking thing in my produce aisle because it was so hard to get and there wasn't much of it. But now there is, organic is, it's a wonderful thing and it's beautiful to have that choice. And especially with, I mean, we, we have more choices now than ever before. So I hope that makes sense. It does. And talk about when you work one-on-one -on -one with, with clients, because my sister never told me what you two did together. And, you know, that's just a privacy thing. And I, you know, I wanted to go on Facebook and blur, blurt out all about her healing and all that, but I respected her privacy. And so talk about what you do when you work one-on-one -on -one with people and why would people not only want to get the book, but also work with you one-on-one? -on -one? Okay. Well, I actually work one-on-one -on -one with a lot of people. I've worked with clients um, on other seven continents. <laughs> I've worked with, with, with all but people in Antarctica. Okay. I've worked on people, at least one person or maybe more on each of the continents. And so I have, I've worked with a lot of people over the past many years and working with them, I work with people who are ill. 
and I also work with people or people who just want to get healthier or who have a goal in mind to people ha that have emotions, you know, I, I'm stressed out and so forth. So you name it. I work with people who have stress of any kind, basically, but I use right now and have been for many years. My husband, uh, Dr. Bruce Nelson has, um, his brother is Dr. Bradley Nelson, who Dr. Brad is a brilliant one who uh, formatted 20 some years of chiropractic and treatments with clients into what is called the body code system. I use the body code system and the emotion code system. And I've developed the food codes basically to test what your best foods are. So working with uh, clients at a distance, I work over the telephone or via the internet uh, like Skype. Uh, and mm -hmm. I also do email sessions with people who don't even speak English. Okay. And that I literally translate the sessions. So, um, and also most of the food programs that I test for people, the food codes are done by email. The person Excellent. tells me what their, what their goal is, what they really would like, uh, to have as a goal. And then, um, I do the testing and, you know, send them, send them the information. Okay. And, and here's another, here's a key that people are really, this is not a diet. And sometimes I need to work with that person uh, to get rid of those, that diet mentality so they can actually yeah. give themselves permission and do and eat rather than have someone telling them, you know, you need to do the keto diet right now. Or you need right. to do this. Right. Well, and as you see how um, overweight and obese our, our country and our world is becoming, a lot of it has to do with what we've done to our, our bodies around all this dieting. And this is very sustainable, what you teach people. But again, I want to remind anybody who is going to get the book, do so by going to this page, thefoodcodes.com forward slash book, uh, book hyphen info. And you'll see this page here. All you do is click here to go to Amazon. Then what you do is you come back to this page and you put your first name, your email address, and your order number, and you click submit and you'll gain access. It'll act, you ask you to confirm your email because Lana doesn't like to send junk email. Um, and so that's, I just wanted to share that. But I wanna open it up to um, some questions and see if we've got more questions that people have. Uh, let's see, we did have Would one. Would love that. And Thank you. Let's see. Um, how long should a session take when working on the food codes with uh, someone as the list is 14 pages? That takes a while. Do you do it in one session? Ooh, That's a great. good question. And I pretty much just answered that. I usually don't do that with the person. I, I can do the testing myself very, very fast. And so I generally do that via email. Uh, the person sends me, you know, what they're interested in and so forth. And then I do the session and send it to you by email. So that, Excellent. and a Excellent. session like an emotional clearing session or something usually runs. It's amazing how fast it can go usually runs. And this is not to clear every single emotion in your, in your being, which we're very emotional beings, but I usually do uh, my other sessions that I work one-on-one -on -one with a person that you have a stressor of some type is usually about 25 minutes. Okay. And um, how would people get in touch with you uh, for those who are interested in, in finding out more about your sessions? Lana at the foodcodes.com. That's pretty simple. Lana That's pretty simple. at the foodcodes.com. Okay. Yeah. And what I would invite people to do now is if you want to unmute yourself, go ahead and unmute yourself. You can put yourself on video now. Uh, because what we're going to do is, uh, and it looks like we've got Georgiana, Hi, Georgiana. and the winner is Georgiana. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Georgiana, what is your question? Um, it, so in regards to weight loss or release, as you say. Uh -huh. um, you can say weight loss too. It's okay. <laughs> you definitely can. Um, do, do I just test each food for what would be best for weight loss? Like 
I use a pendulum for my uh, perfect. You may use a, a pendulum is absolutely perfect. A yeah. lot of people use pendulum. Yeah, it works uh -huh. a lot. I, it's more reliable to me than yes, you know. understand. <laughs> so that's a okay. Okay, good. So do I have to, do I need to test each food for weight loss? Can I cr test for a particular type of diet or way of eating yeah. that would be best and then test the foods within that what's or doesn't matter whichever you prefer you can say first of all test yourself is it okay for me to mm. you know or what foods you can simply say what foods are best for me to lose weight you can say lose weight reduce or whatever your inner knower knows i i want to be more fit and trim okay yeah. Okay. You can also test yourself for should I whatever, and it's in the book as well, uh, with some examples of exercise and so forth. Some people just need more sleep and rest. Some people need a little meditation instead of running like crazy Kathleen. She's a, the best runner I just, I know, and that is her zen. Okay, so that's perfect. But does that answer your question, Georgiana? You, yep. can, you can use your pendulum perfect and just on the page you know what is this is this food good for me is it is it in my best list is it in my bad because here's what you'll find in your best and your worst tests and I, I mentioned this in the book from about eight to ten you will just put an X on something that is below that like three zero to a three or four those are in your not as good and then those foods that you don't test, you know, that just don't, nothing comes up, those are your neutral foods. Eat them once in a while, but don't eat a lot of them. If you're really wanting to, you know, reduce weight or something like that, sick or get your, gain your best, whatever, stay with your best foods. And here's another way to use your plan. If you're totally, it's like, oh, this kind of scares me and I just want to go gentle. Use that little list of your foods that are not the best for you and just remove those from your diet. That could make a huge difference. Does that make sense? It does. So my last question in regards to that then is, um, are, I guess I can just test it, Never mind. <laughs> I was you just gonna and, ask. You know, Georgiana, I would, I would recommend that you do reach out to Lana and talk about uh, maybe a private session because you know, I know that you're so into your health and everything and I, I think that it would really uh, be a blessing for you to get that kind of an insight from Lana. So yeah. definitely. Thank you, Georgiana. Thank, thank you. Thank Blessing you. you. Uh -huh. Okay. So <laughs> Lana and thank you, Georgiana. I appreciate yeah, I you being go. on the call. Okay. Uh, Lana, you have a question? Hello, Lana. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I am fantastic. I am, <laughs> you know, better and better all the time. You look beautiful. Thank I'm sitting you. Here going, how does she do that? <laughs> I don't. <sighs> <laughs> I don't really have a question. I'm just enjoying listening and um, I'm anxious to get the book and start researching it more and doing Beautiful. it for myself because well, I need it. I would I love your input and anyone listening to this, please send me your input. I'm open for all. Send me if you don't like set something or do or have any ideas because that is how we learn. Okay. Right. So. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. And anybody else um, who might have a question? Um, thank you, Lana. Anybody else who might have a question, feel free to unmute yourself. Feel free to come on video. Uh, we're opening it up now. And or you can put the question in the chat room. That's perfectly okay. And uh, anybody want to put something in the chat room? We have quite a few people that have joined us. Uh, yeah. We've got nearly 30 people. That's awesome. And, uh, but, um, looks like that might be it on the questions. Uh, okay. if you have a question, you can put it in the chat room. I've put it very open. To, yeah. Yeah. The link to where you get the book, I would recommend doing that so you can get the bonuses. I mean, you can go directly to Amazon, order it and not get the bonuses or come back to this page. And again, I'll show you the page and I would highly recommend that you come here. You order your copy by pressing that button. It takes you right over to Amazon. You come back, you can also press that button, you fill in this information, click submit, and you are good to go. It looks like we have a question. Let me go and get back on that page. And hold on, now I'm getting 
Okay, stop share. There we go. Okay, and it looks like there's something in the chat room. And I guess if I put my glasses. Okay, <laughs> the bonuses are um, you get. Um, it you is get, a 30 day, uh, 30 day journal. Basically, you can use it online or you can print it off. So it's an interactive journal that you can just have on your computer or your device and you can fill it in or you can print that off if you like hard copy. I love those kind of things and, um, you know, write on it and so forth. And then you also get a shopping list that you can take with you and it's a fillable shopping list. It's something that you would print and, you know, write out and take Excellent. with you of your best foods. Excellent. And it's right here and you just go to the foodcodes.com forward slash book hyphen info okay as and, well as i have other um available i have other a lot of info right now and more that is just being funneled into my website so look around there and see oh, I, the you know i have to show on your blog website. and so on i i do have to show your website because it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so chock full of uh great resources let me do a share here and I'll show everybody your website. I would recommend you actually come to her website. You can sign up for the gut flush. This is really interesting. I do the gut flush every day and it really helps to clear out your gut. Um, 30 seconds. And I'll let you figure out what that means. And here's her <laughs> website. You can come and get her food codes, top 10 energy foods. Uh, her blog has wonderful, wonderful articles on it. Um, it's thinking right now, it's, uh, we're having a major storm right now, so I'm surprised we haven't lost contact, but, uh, oh, here we go. Here's the blog. Look at these beautiful, uh, images with articles. So I encourage you, if you want more of Lana, the way you can actually take Lana home with you is, and her husband doesn't mind. I'll help you get cook. Her book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She'll help you cook is get her book and also go to her website because there's, just incredible, incredible information. She talks about her services, uh, her blog, free stuff. You can get all of that. So let's see if there's more questions. Um, let's see. Uh, wondering, ah, this is a great one. This comes from Moy. Uh, Lana, wondering, are there any foods that can help with eyesight or hearing? You know what? That's a fabulous question for can it help with and fill in the blank. I've seen yes and yes, and it, it's a we'll see what happens, okay? So there could be a food. Okay, I'm going to tell you a, a story of a, one of my clients. She had ringing in the ears, terrible ringing in the ears. Did a food code, a food list for her, and she sent me a text, actually, and she goes, oh, my goodness. I, you, you tested that chili and chilies were not my best food, actually in my worst food category. Last night, I made myself a really fantastic chili, and immediately my ears started ringing like crazy. Mm. She made herself some homemade chili. So staying away from the chilies, as she found one of the things in her diet at this time that was not a good food, and that was, that was uh, enhancing that ringing. You know, so I'm glad you, you keep emphasizing at this time because our body goes through changes all the time, depending on yeah. the stress and just a number of factors. And so nothing is for the rest of your life. That's why continual muscle testing is important. And, um, you know, you, you really uh, bring home the point that it's so customized for each person. Uh -huh. So I appreciate that. And, um, and here's what, the thing, I, Kathleen. As you become more and more healthy, let's say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can really eat more and more foods. It's mm. very interesting. I can, you know, with doing the, I don't know how many, umpteen bunches of food code plans I've done over the past 20 plus years, looking and scanning a person's food list, I can say, oh, look at that. And look at this. Um, this, uh, you know, their pancreas is having a little bit of problem with sugars or sweets or something like that. Or I think they've got some mold because this group of foods is more moldy really mm -hmm. than that group of foods, etc. You don't have to know. This is the cool thing. You do not have to be a nutritionist or even know a thing about counting anything or the nutrients in a food. But 
looking at a person's food plan, the more healthy you are, literally the more foods you are able to eat. So it's a very cool thing. If you're right. able to eat a lot of foods, like your body is running on pretty good health. Nice. For the most nice. part. And a question that comes from uh, Amber. Uh, Lana, will an ebook or Kindle edition of your book be available soon? It's all available, hard copy okay. and Kindle. Okay, yeah, and Shannon actually responded to that. I see the Kindle edition available on Amazon. And whichever edition you get, whether it's paperback or Kindle, you'll get the bonuses. So, yeah, you, uh, you know, what I love about you, Lana, is you're truly here to help people. Um, I know the first time I met you, it was at a conference I was doing. And you and Dr. Bruce were, you know, during the break, you were doing healings on people and people that were complete skeptics. I got to tell you, these were people that were complete <laughs> skeptics. They were no longer skeptical. One woman had a really bad back and had back pain for a long, long time. And you found some emotional blockage in her and you did some muscle testing. And she goes, oh my gosh, I haven't had this little pain for so long. I mean, she was just amazingly blown away. So um it is amazing okay andrea asked so you don't need to know about portion sizes that's the question you what you that's cool you do not ever have to count portion sizes again ask your tummy are you full yet and you can at first i didn't know okay when i started using that i used my muscle tester i would eat a little bit if you eat really fast you know this, all of a sudden it's like pff, your meal catches up with you and you feel really bad, okay? Mm -hmm. It takes a while for satiety. So pacing yourself, okay, it just makes sense. And enjoy your food. This is a relationship for goodness, for goodness sakes, okay? Ah, goodness. So if you're sitting down with a good friend, you say, okay, this is what happened to me the other day, and, blah, 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 and you're both just, blah, 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 and then you go. No, you sit down and say, hi, Lana, it's been so good to see you. I love you. Tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. As you're eating the food, you're tasting it, you're sensing it, etc. Okay. And so you will know. The first time I did my tester and experienced this, I had a cup of chicken soup. Okay. It was a big cup too. And I just ate a spoonful and ate a spoonful. All of a sudden, I had a little bit, I had about this much left in the cup. All of a sudden, my inner knower said, stop. Hmm. It was full. I knew that. That's the first time I really remembered from even childhood that I was full. And I just look in the cup and I go, okay, there's a little bit more. I could just, just sip that down. I don't want to, I'm not a waster. No, no, no. I took that cup, I poured it down the disposal, and it was euphoria. I stopped. I let go of the food, and but your, your inner nor will tell. There's no more portion sizing. Put a little on your plate. If you really are still hungry, have more. If you want another taste of that, have more. But learn when you're full and stop, and then learn when you're hungry again, okay? So uh, raising your awareness around your relationship with food. Which actually, uh, Moi, has, Moi um, has another question. What about very bad sinus issues in response to weather respond like a barometer? What about that food or emotions or damage from smoking years back? Oh, can be all of the above. Question. Definitely okay. can be all of the above. But I will tell you, oftentimes, testing what foods are best for you at this time to get relief from this could help you a lot. Nice. Working, nice. like I said, working many years ago and, and for, through all the years with people who had chronic issues. And here's a key for you. I actually wrote another book. And this was why I originally, Kathleen helped me with my original book, which was called uh, like, I forget, 14 Days to Being Pain-Free or something like that. And it was the same, I used a compilation of many years of the food codes that I had tested mm -hmm. for other people. I took the top foods and I put them into this list. My husband, Bruce, and I ate this food for almost three months religiously, okay? He soared with it. I got sores around my mouth. Okay, I'm eating the healthy, the top healthy foods for you of the day. I got sores mm -hmm. around my mouth. I was so exhausted I could barely move. Didn't work for me. 
that's when I thought, oh no, I can't put that out. It's just another diet. This is not a diet. Food codes is not a diet. It's a, it's a lifestyle. It's sustainable. It is. Um, the and friendship. let's see. Uh, looks like that is it on questions. Do we have anybody who has a question? You can unmute yourself. You can put yourself on video. Uh, you can ask whatever question. Lana is here to help to answer your question. And you know what I love about you, Lana, is that this truly is your life's work. This is not about you know oh let's write a book and and uh, let's just put something out to market. You really put a lot of thought into what went into the book. It took you two, three years to get the book done um, because you, you wanted to make sure, you were so committed to making sure it was the best information for people. And I've, I've seen you interact with people and it's just incredible the love that you bring to the experience that that in itself is so healing for people. So I just want to acknowledge you on that. And um, Want to see if there are any other questions? Uh, anybody have a question? If you do, just ask away. And if not, uh, you can put it in the chat room. Looks like that's it. And Lana, I just Alrighty. want to say, first thank of you. all, thank you for being here. I want to acknowledge everybody. Okay, we've got Haidu um, on the, the line. And do you have a question, Haidu? You, you, okay, go ahead. Hello? Hello? Do you have a question? Okay. Do you have a question? Okay. It doesn't sound like you've got a question. Um, okay. Uh, let me go ahead. Okay, great. And I, I, it looks like, hi, dude, do you have, okay, she disappeared again. <laughs> and maybe it's my technical uh, know-how. Uh, Who knows? You know, a lot the of gremlins. Do because you <laughs> might know a lot about technology. It's like I couldn't even get on Zoom, for goodness sake. But I want to acknowledge everybody who's been on this call. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules because yes. I know how precious your time is. Lana Thank knows you. how precious your time is. And we just really appreciate that you've taken the time to do something that will help you to be more productive in your life, more balanced, more aligned, be healed so you can go out and do the work you're here to do. And Lana, I want you to know I so appreciate who you are. I adore you. I love you. I love your husband. I just think you two are the most amazing people. And I thank you for the work that you're doing. And I thank you for the fact that you have stepped up to the plate. You're answering your calling and you're out there making a difference in so many people's lives. So thank uh, you. Thank and you. Again, Much love to you, I, dear Kathleen. Thank you. And, and to everyone out there. We're getting a lot of thank yous, <laughs> and I want to remind people, thank please you. go get the book. Um, let's go back and let's do um, a share here. Oops, let me, I'm, I'm going to pull that page up again because I really encourage people to uh, get the book, and let's see. Uh, book and info. it is available now. Everything is available now. Yes, everything's available. You'll immediately get the uh, bonus gifts that she's giving you. Uh, you'll get the uh, workbook and you'll get the printable shopping list so you can start to prepare because I know a lot of times people want to prepare for what's coming in the new year. You can do that. So Lana, or thank anytime. you again very much. Thank you. Yeah, you can okay. start right away. So, love you Thank all. you very much. Bye -bye. Okay. Thank Goodbye you. everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.